In the first season of One Hour Limit Locked, we set ourselves the challenge to get a fire cape in 45 days while only being able to play for one hour a day. I went 36 minutes overtime on the last day, but we got our cape in the end. The thing is, that was only the warm up. Now, we're really about to start cooking. 60 days are on the clock, 175 quest points are on the menu, 8 council members are in need of a charming knight in shining armour, and I'm the idiot they're getting. Welcome to season 2 of One Hour Limit Locked, it's chef in season baby. Hello again everyone and welcome back. We're about to kick off day four here on the series two. It goes by so quick, it doesn't feel like we've done anything so far and that's probably because we've been running around all over the place and having to go to the GE for teletabs and all sorts of nonsense. But we now have fairy rings, we now have spirit trees. We now have 38 magic, so we've got access to some of our teleports and more coming online as we up those magic levels every single day with lower level alchemy. We're about to get the Ardune cape today, fingers crossed nothing goes wrong, which will give us easy access to both the spirit tree and the fairy ring. Big move. After that point, our transportation, pretty much done. Pretty much done. We'll still have the core and castle teleport to unlock but that's not particularly difficult you just have to do client of corin these days which is in the plan very soon as well we may even get to it today but yeah i'm just going to be burning through some more of these quests but uh starting off with the ardun easy diary the toughest bit for that is going to be getting a rusty sword from a ham member I'm also going to go and get the Alfred Grimham's bar crawl started so I can get the bar crawl card and then as I'm going around doing other quests I'm just going to try and remember to carry it around with me as much as possible and visit the, the pubs and do the things as I'm next to them. So yeah, because we need that later for uh, Horror from the Deep. We need to have it done. Alright, enough rambling, let's get on into this. A day four of one hour limit locked. We might actually finish growing a cat today as well, which will mean that we can do a clearance. Here we go. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh my god, I almost attacked that paladin. That would have been a bad way to start. There it is. We're gonna get that kitten on the floor and we're gonna guess its age. 53 minutes. It needs attention. So let's stroke it, okay, feed it, okay, and then we're going to be straight on the Ardoon, easy. Right, we want to start with the ones in town that we can do just here. Okay, so if we check, that's one. Probably the first time I've ever completed that task and actually had a pet to check on with Scurry there in the bank. Kind of crazy. Just getting some silk. And we can dump some of this shit from the previous questing we were doing. Uh, what else do I need here? Steal the cake, dump the pet insurance, and uh, restore prayer we can do, wilderness lever we can do, combat camp, okay. Step by step. So we have to sell it with 60 coins, I think you have to go with 80 as the original offer. Or is it 120? Yeah, it'd give you 60. Sweet. Okay, for anyone who doesn't know, if you stand under this baker, you never get caught. You do have to make sure there's no one else there that's going to drag you out of it. But yeah, you can steal from there every time, which is another task. Uh, steal cake, sell silk. I'm going to very quickly teleport to the essence mine and then find our way back. Going down to the church now. That's another one. And then we'll run all the way up to the combat camp. But before we do, we're going to grab a games necklace. Make sure we have a wealth, we do. Do I have to be over the river? I can't remember. I can't remember exactly where it is. Okay, yeah, it's this side. Oh, I forgot to do the lever as well. It's not that far to run to the lever from here. It's fine. I feel like I pathed very badly to this place, though. Okay, that's that done. All we have to do is enter. 
Straight in, straight out. Okay, that's number one done. Right, we're going to go to Barbarian Outpost. We are going to try and get in. And they're going to tell us no. Or do we have to talk to them? Perfect. Okay, next thing to do is head to the GE. We want to grab the ham rubs that I forgot to get earlier when I was doing my buying. Uh, we actually want two sets of each. Please tell me I'm going to get these. Okay, we need the cloak, the gloves, the shirt. Oh my gosh. What's the other thing you need? There's a seventh, isn't there? Ham um, hood. 5k each. 5k each. Okay, don't need a second right now, so I don't actually have to worry if they don't completely buy. Right, we are going ham. <laughs> okay. And then... Oh, we don't really need that right now. Just get a bit of food and a lockpick. Need us something. Do we have a Lumbridge telly? Uh, we got it on us, haven't we? We can try everything. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, I was gonna. Yeah, I was gonna top up on alcohols. I think this was my last stack. Spent like 100k on ham robes, I swear. Oh, it's not set on pick lock, that's why. There we go, hopefully we get a rusty sword nice and quick. I mean, extra pieces of clothes we keep because they're worth. Upples almost, 1k, so we'll keep that too. Oh, there's a clue scroll. Running theme of season 1 was me failing to do clues. It's an easy start. There's a thieving level as well, always nice to see, we do need those. Do you never get... I was about to say, do you never get kicked out if you're wearing hammer robes, but... Come on, give me a rusty sword. Exactly your sex tape? All I need is a rusty sword. I actually think I need a raw chicken at some point. I'm gonna keep hold of that. I feel like there's a part of RFD where you go to the evil chicken place and just randomly having a raw chicken in my bank might be nice. You could probably make bank pickpocket in here and just selling the ham rubs really expensive. People would buy them. You just put all different parts up at 5k, like, I reckon they'd sell over time. This rusty sword is kind of taking the piss though. Maybe I should get the buttons, I didn't realise they were worth that much. Jesus. I wonder how many thieving levels we get before we get a rusty sword. There we go. Okay, praying it doesn't take more than one, because there is a chance. I think we can use the fishing troll or teleport. Okay. And yeah, we don't want that shit anymore, do we? Almost done with the diary. Right, fishing troll. I'm praying that there's like a 1 in 92 chance that the sword turns out to be nothing and you have to go get another one effectively. Let's go. Alright, now we have to go out on the fishing trawler. Do I have to talk to him? Can I just go straight on? My cat! I can't take my cat! Oh my god. Sorry, kitten. Do I have anything else to walk? Because I might be stuck on this boat for a bit. Waiting for it to end. I don't think I have any other stacks, do I? Nah. Just gonna have to go for it. Go on Iron Longsword, I guess. <sighs> 39 magic. Can we teleport out? Because it says we've completed it. If I don't need to stay, I'm not staying. Yeah, it's crossed off. Okay, I'm gonna go to GE. I don't know if we can actually use a Yanil teleport. Oh no, we can't teleport. That's annoying. Okay, so we just wait for the boat to sink. Probably won't take too long. Wait. Oh my gosh, I can't even cast here. The fuck, man? The phone just locked me out of gaining XP. There we go. That was a lovely 20 fucking minutes. That's what it felt like anyway. I'm just gonna run straight down to you now. We're not that far, right? It's fine. Yeah, we actually were that far, there's no Amazon. Let's go! Back to our dune. Ooh, what are we gonna spend our 2.5k on? I think it's probably just got to be agility. I feel like it has to be agility. Thank you very much, and while we're at it, how about we just do the back roll? Agility. Nice one. Okay, we are gonna go to the Grand Exchange real quick. I need more alks. 
Okay, that'll do for now. Oh, but we do actually need some invent space for the next bit. So, is the one in Lumbridge pub? No. There is two in Varrock we need to do. Not urgently though. I need to carry 20 balls of wool, that's what I'm thinking. One left, 20. Okay, we're gonna, oh, we need to get the cat back. I was gonna use it on the cat, but we actually need the cat to do that. Okay, I'm gonna feed it a sardine as well, if I can find them. Beautiful. Get that other ball of wool back. Go to Ferox for a, a little bit of a reset. Not sure if anything got drained from the uh, pint we had. Some of them do drain these stats, so. Good to be in the habit of resetting. Okay, we are I'm drinking that so I have an invent space. And then we can talk to Vios. Star X marks the spot. Oh, I didn't mean to drink that. That was the wrong one as well. Okay. Go hand in sheep shearer for a tiny bit of crafting XP. Thank you very much. Now we have inventory space. Can go finish off the X marks the spot. Do one more. Maybe another one after this. No pub in drainer is that. I bet there's one in Port so we might have to go to. Actually isn't, but we do need to go to Moosa Point so we can boat there. Very welcome. Does he give me the next quest? I oh, don't know, maybe I have to get it from him while I'm there. I'm just gonna go across to Karamji for the back roll while I'm here. Could have done that banana correct quest while I was here as well, but didn't actually put it on my list. Gonna reset and go do Death Plateau. Here's the one in Berthorpe. Rimhaven, I'm Stronghold, Varrock, Sears, Varrock, followed up. Ports of Rim, fuck, there was one in Ports of Rim. Uh, we got a beginner clue apparently as well, but fuck cares about that. Right, we want our trout and our bread, right? And a games necklace. And an iron bar? Okay, we could do with some sort of stamina. I guess I can wear the games necklace, we don't really need our dragon bone. Guess we'll need an invent spot for GP. Alright, we are going to Berthorpe. Oh, I didn't bring all the items. I'm an idiot. Oh, there's a bank down there though. I'm dumb. On multiple counts. I thought I needed all this trout and shit now, but it's later. I should probably just get rid of this stuff. I feel like I need inventory space. It's not for ages that we need it, so. Bank chest down here, for anyone who didn't know, under the pub. Is that pub not here? I guess it's not. We'll get rid of that shit, get the blurb, some coinage we've got. I did not know that pub had a beer garden. Interesting. <laughs> Nothing ever been down there. Well, actually, no, there's like a vineyard there that you have to do for a quest, isn't there? Like to do with the growing hops or whatever it is. Making ale. Oh, I should have talked to that guy before going into the bar. The only door you knock on in the whole of RuneScape. Oh. I actually had Ask any in here on the bank. Oh, I didn't tell me. Do I have to go back to Aoric? Because it's telling me to. I don't want to fuck it up. I guess I'll give this, this kebab to Harold. He'll probably want it after this assortment of drinks. Get fucked, mate. Wait, did that not work? Oh my gosh. I exited out of it. What the fuck? <sighs> I didn't click the continue. 40 magic, now have teleport to house. Very nice indeed, very nice. It's a big one to have online. I mean, at the minute it only gets us to Remington, but. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Berthop rather than running back. Definitely worth the time save there. Hang on, right, I'm just gonna go to Ferox. I feel like it'll be quicker to just teleport back to the games than to run down to the bank in the pub. All good. Back to Berthorpe one last time. Wait, why do I need the combination? Oh no, I have to give it to him? I think I put it in the bank? <sighs> no, I don't have it. Damn it. Uh, okay, but I can get it back from the guy upstairs. Let me just grab a stam, a regular energy, and another stack. 
Okay, well, we are next client of corn, so we want the glory as well. Get back to the drainer business. My man's still drunk. Still somehow has the same bit of paper. Let's go 3,000 attack, XP, and we're off. No, the one down, the rusty anchor. And now we are going to Port Pisk. Oh, I forgot I needed a feather. Pretty sure there's a bank at the top. I mean, there's fishing shops all over as well. Okay, feather. Just the one. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, Port Pisk General Store. Uh, let's get another stack. Should be able to get this quest done. I don't th oh, we need our Dreaming. Do I actually have to ask questions? I think we probably... Where's the Arceus General Store? It's literally right here. But it is a run. No, I just Farrock teleported. Oh, what an idiot. What an idiot. Fuck. Okay. Uh, it was all intentional. I just came here to do the pub. Yeah, my insides do feel terrible. No, it's not hotkeyed. Setting up all my default settings is the thing that gets me the most. Things like left-click options that I've swapped. Okay, Arceus is CIS, which I think is now available. You, you no longer have to pay to unlock it like you used to. They recently improved a bunch of fairy rings around Corrand and transportation options in general. I love you, Kang, next. Not certain how we're gonna get there. Maybe DJR. Okay, love you, Kang. Oh, my kin's hungry. There's a bank nearby. Uh, I mean, it's actually really close by, so we can walk to that one. Seeing as that we're already running in that direction for the bank. It wouldn't be if we were running here anyway, but we are, so. There you are, kitten. Well, I guess he's age again. Two hours stay, what, 28 minutes? Yeah, we're not gonna get it today. Fucking five day kitten, man. Ridiculous! Can we go that way? Yeah. None of these are in corn, are they? Corn don't exist when... Oh, we did miss out the one in your nil, though. I meant to get that while I was there. Doing the Ardy Diary. There's 41 magic. Okay, the next one is... All the way down there, I think I'm just going to fairy ring to there rather than run down this distance. Uh, but I want to get some more energy as well. So we may as well just reset at the duel arena. Get an extra duel and not the duel arena, but you know what I meant. You all know what I meant. And then there is also a fairy ring at Hosidius now. I've never, I don't think I've ever used it. I might use it like once. I got out of the habit of using my RD cape to get to a fairy ring because I got the quest cape recently on my main, so now I have to get back into the habit of this being my default fairy ring or spirit tree. I also have a spirit tree in my house now on the main, so that's my method there. Please tell me I'm going the right way. Thank fuck. Random money maker. The orange dye there. 875 GP a pop. Pick up, pop worlds. Okay, Hosidius next. We are gonna do the same thing again. And we're gonna look up the fairy ring while we're running over there. AKR. Beautiful. How many of these do we have left now? Nil Brim. Gnome Stronghold. Sears. Valley. Not too many. I think we just run back to Pisk from here because it's only a tiny bit north. I think we're just gonna be taking this in agility again. Because we can never go too high with agility. I might be tripping, but I feel like Queen of Thieves is like the quickest quest ever. Maybe I could get it done in three minutes. It's not on my list till a bit later, but wait, I have to do something still? Oh, I thought that was it. Hang on. I call it a CIS. My other option is Black Knight's Fortress, but I feel like just going to a bank would be... Like, don't you just have to go talk to some people for Client of Corum, basically? Uh, for Queen of Thieves, if I remember right. Probably don't, do I? We have to go back to the Earth, so that's so troll. Okay, we're not getting anything at Alston. <laughs> I've just thought of a quick way back to the Earth, though. Right, activate. Bang in. Okay, return to him. Right, we're gonna go... Winter Todd. Minecart. Here we go. There is Client of Corrand. I'm just gonna, like, I think start this. Maybe stew. I don't know what else to do while I'm just... Like, it's the end of the day, I've got 40 seconds, it's not like I can really do anything with it. I may as well just 
start a random quest that I'm in the vicinity of that I know we're going to do eventually, whether or not we do it right now. Well, not right now, but first thing tomorrow. Okay, and that is the Queen of Thieves started as our clock strikes home on the day. We also got the Caress Memoirs, so we can teleport now, I think, but it has no memories yet. Yeah, so we have to actually unlock the teleports first by doing the individual quests, such as this one. But yeah, that is the day done. We got... Oh, let me pick up my kitten. We've got... 3,000 attack XP, 3,800 agility, 11,000 magic, and 2,000 thieving, so not too bad overall. It was Biohazard, the Arda Easy Diary, which took up most of our time, to be fair, to get the cape that's on our backs now, and that we've used, like, four times already. <laughs> Sheep Shearer, X marks the spot, Death Platter, Client of Corrand, and at the very end we just started Queen of Thieves, so a lot of little quests on today, and the RD Easy Diary. Not a great amount of XP gained across multiple skills, but we did get all the way up to 41 magic, which is pretty nice. What can we do at 41 magic? We've got the teleport to our house, we've got Wind Blast, we can use Death now. We are getting closer and closer to high level alchemy. Our overall goal is 59, I think, is the requirement we need. But, you know, any higher we go than that, obviously, is great. And the more teleports we're going to unlock along the way, like Watchtower, RD, Camelot at 45 is the next one. Plenty of good stuff on offer there from our continued efforts to train magic alongside our other skills. And, yeah, we got a little bit of a start on thieving as well with the biohazard completion. Bit more attack XP. Been a pretty good day, I think. We've almost got a grown cat. Would you believe it? Tomorrow, we will have a kitten. Uh, no, we'll have a cat tomorrow, rather than a kitten. Absolutely astounded that it's taken us five days to grow a cat, but there you are. If you've enjoyed the video, please do leave a like on it. It helps out a ton of both for promoting me into the algorithm and for letting my kitten know that you want him to grow up. Do leave a comment down below and wish him luck on his last 18 minutes towards adulthood. I keep reflexively moving towards the Alk because I'm now getting into a muscle memory of just doing it when I'm passive, so I think I'm going to have to log out so I don't accidentally start Alking stuff. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and other than that, look after yourselves, be lovely to one another, and I will see you on the next one.